Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the KC Baseball Report presented by Budweiser. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria Southside. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, May 12th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC show. This segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic, and Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Uh, you can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC show. Now, this show is being taped at the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive, where you can sign up your kids for Learn to Skate classes or Learn to Play Hockey classes on their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m., and we're also taping our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m., and that is every single day. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you need to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. It's all one word, Good Sports KC. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations. And this month, with our May issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. And our new issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our KC Baseball Spotlight, presented by Budweiser. This month, we take a look at how the Royals made history with their early season losing streak that they went through. Plus, we question whether it's really our time for the Royals. And in SheKC, we have a story on a female boxer from here in Kansas City who's getting ready for a title bout. Plus, we share information on the importance of stretching. You can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King's, at both Minsky's on Berry Road, and Mr. Goodsense at the Kansas City Ice Center, where we are doing our show today, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a number of PDFs, the current issue, as well as many of our other issues on the website as well. And the publication SheKC is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. Check us out on Facebook at SheKC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, our first guest that's joining us today is Dr. Susan Anschutz from Summit of Health Integrative Chiropractic and Hyperbaric Center. Uh, her website is summitofhealth.com and also Dr. Anschutz, and that's spelled A-N-S-C-H-U-T-Z dot com. She's located at 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit, Missouri. Uh, first of all, welcome to the show, Dr. Thank Anschutz. Uh, happy Mother's Day to you. Oh, it's the day before <laughs> Mother's Day that we're taping this show, so even though people will be seeing it after it, happy Mother's Day to thanks. you. Big plans for Mother's Day? Oh, not too big. Okay. A, a day off. A day, yeah, a day of rest and a day off. Uh, well, Dr. Anschutz is a regular contributor to Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. And this month's, in this month's issue of KC Sports, you write about high blood pressure yes. and natural solutions that are available for individuals suffering from high blood pressure. But before we get into that, let's talk just a little bit, before we get into the solutions, let's talk a little bit about uh, high blood pressure and some of the things um, that having high blood pressure can do to us. First of all, the thing that's uh, interesting is you may not even know that you have high blood pressure. Right. There's no, it's not a symptom of illness, but it's a sign. 
Okay. And, and I read that like a third of the people who have high blood pressure really don't even know it at all. Absolutely. Uh, I guess some until, until they suffer, go to the doctor. Some people suffer headaches or may, okay. may feel it when it gets very high, but most people don't have any idea at all. I see. And so what happens inside our blood vessels when you have high blood pressure? What's ba going on inside of us? Basically, the biggest concern is the damage it does to the inside of the blood vessels. Okay. So it's, it's just by the fact that there's just too much Obviously too much pressure. pressure, like a hose with too much pressure. Um, and the smaller the hose, for instance, the capillaries um, near under the skin um, it can be damaged easily, very small capillaries. And really? so they don't work correct lately, later. So what are some of the things that contribute to that? You're not necessarily born with high blood right. pressure. That is a factor, genetic factor. Right. Are um, it can be varied, and that's why you've got to have an exam and really find out where it's coming from. It's a sign. It's not a diagnosis. It's a sign that there's something off in your body. Um, for instance, high insulin levels, if you're a type 2 diabetic and mm -hmm. not controlled and your in insulin is up because you're insulin resistant, that can cause the blood pressure to go up. Um, anxiety, stress, high cortisol levels can raise it. Uh, level of toxins in the body, it may be... Um, something you're exposed to at work. And the high blood pressure actually damages the kidneys quite a bit, too. Really? Yeah. And uh, it, can be, it can come from infections. It can come from uh, deficiencies of minerals. I mean, it can be varied. It, it, it's an amazingly difficult thing to, f to probably fi be, figure yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, obviously there are those moments that we all have where our blood pressure goes up. <laughs> we it, we it's get called, angry. It's called parenting. Or we get excited, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's called parenting, um, like when you're angry or, or something. Or the game's about to end. Exactly. And, yeah. Exactly, yeah. It, but that's not and really. And our body is set to, to handle those short right. bursts. But it's when you're like that all the time that your body loses its ability to to adjust to it and it starts to cause damage. Right. And then there's also the white coat high blood pressure that you Go get. Into so the that doctors, some people yeah. get that some people get from that, which which happens, but you know, I know you guys have a solution for that too. <laughs> to, to, to to double check all of that stuff. So w let's talk about the numbers that you know, you hear those numbers. Mm -hmm. You you know, if you're watching um uh Grey's Anatomy or something like that, you'll hear those types of numbers. What do those numbers mean? The top number is the systolic pressure and the lower number is the diastolic. And basically, the top number is where, when you've got the cuff on the arm, you release the pressure down to that point, and the blood vessel's no longer completely closed, it starts to open. Um, when it opens, it causes turbulence, and that's why you hear the heart beats then with each amount of turbulence until you get to the point where the turbulence goes away, and that's what we call the diastolic pressure. Gotcha. So um, things like... Uh Obesity, of course, contributes to right. it. Uh, alcohol contributes to alcohol, it. Coffee does. Caffeine coffee, does. Caffeine, caffeine yeah. high salt diets. Right, right. So these are the kinds of things that everybody can control. Um, you know, those are some of the things that everybody can control, but there are some other things that they can't necessarily control. Right. There are some genetics. Um, people who don't, who have enzymes that don't work properly, or maybe they don't eliminate salt out of their bodies really? as well. So a little bit of salt can really set them off. But that's not everybody's Right, right. And, I, and I've heard, uh, you know, obviously it can lead to serious diseases like a stroke. Exactly. Like a heart disease. Of course, you mentioned their kidneys. Um, right. And then eye problems as well. I've yeah, because the blood vessels in the eyes, again, are some of those very small are they? blood vessels. And it's actually the only place that we can see the blood vessels. So mm -hmm. when we do an eye exam on a patient, we're actually seeing the blood vessel and the damage to it right there. So that's a part of when they're looking, so the when you're looking in your has eyes. A, yeah. yeah, the ophthalmologist has an advantage over the rest of us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, obviously, the treatment that w many of us hear about is medication, some sort right. of medication. Um, they usually start people on antidiuretic to try to get rid of extra fluid first. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but you say, obviously, in your article that there are other solutions, other right. situations that can be affecting it and can... The can ideal solution is to find out why you have it and okay. to actually dig for it and take care of the cause. I mean, I've read cases where it's an infection in the root of a tooth, and every time that infection breaks through, the blood pressure would skyrocket and break through all the meds and just go very high. That's what you need to find out for yourself. But in lieu of finding that out, there are natural therapies or green medicines just like there are. 
prescriptions. Right. So, and you say in the article, obviously, that uh, high blood pressure is a sign that your body is out of balance. Correct. And that's a lot of what your practice is about, is getting everything back into balance. Exactly. And getting things straightened out. So let's, you know, let's take a look at some of those natural treatments that we can do by ourselves. Um, Many of them, I guess, we do need to have recommended by uh, a medical professional. Or supervised. Or supervised. Especially okay. if you're wanting to change your medicines. Um, someone like myself couldn't take someone off of meds, but could certainly work with them while they worked with their MD. And when they present you know, better, more consistent numbers, the MD and the patient can then talk about changing their medicine sure. levels. Well, sure. So uh, one of them is CoQ10. Mm. Um, which, Absolutely number one. Which I... I had, heard that if you're on um, high blood pressure medication, there you have lot, to also take that. There are a lot of medications, the high blood pressure meds, um, the diabetes meds, but the biggest one is the cholesterol meds. Mm -hmm. They all deplete your body store oh, of CoQ10s, okay. and it's used um, in every cell in the body, and the heart especially uses a lot of it. Um, there's some data showing that congestive heart failure is actually a deficiency of CoQ10. Really? And it's something that can be bought over the counter and, yes. and supplemented. Quality does matter. There are yeah. some vitamins you don't have to pay as much attention to, but CoQ10, um, certainly the, the best is some that's usually made with something called a Q-gel. It's a particular type of supplier, but um, basically more of a fat-soluble CoQ10 than a water-soluble in most instances. Is that something you can see on the bottle? Does yeah. Does it say that on the bottle? Yeah, it'll usually tell you on the bottle. And just don't buy the cheapest one out there okay. I mean at least try to get a recommendation from from your doctor or um, from a real health food store to get a quality gotcha, product gotcha another one is vitamin D yeah very important now we all have uh, and we get vitamin D from sunlight exactly if you're in the sun enough where we're at between April and September is the only time of the year that the sun is direct enough really you're Mm -hmm. hmm. So we have to have it all stored up by then to make it through the whole winter. And uh, if you're using sunscreen, I hate to say it, but you're not making vitamin D. Oh, or okay. wearing, even wearing sunglasses will block that. Really? Because your eyes would be one place that would make vitamin D. So have a little bit of time, preferably early in the day, exposed to the sun without sunscreen on, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Hmm. Um, should be sufficient for most people. Um, African American people make less, so they probably need a little more time in the sun. Or you can supplement with a D3, not D2, but D3 supplement. And what's the difference between a, a one is the active form, and one still has to be activated in the body. And since that happens in the kidney and liver, there are a lot of people that, due to issues in the kidney and the liver, may not have the full ability to activate it. I see. D C and 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 I think of D2 and D3 as. Uh, as the Mighty Ducks movies. <laughs> since, since we're out at the I ice rink here, that. since we're out at the ice rink with kids, <laughs> with kids growing up during that time, that's what I think of. So anyway, gotcha. you know, got to, got to make the plug for the, uh, the ice rink. Um, <laughs> then of course there's diet. There, right. there are many things that you can eliminate from your diet. Of course, we all, we, you know, every day there's many right. things that we can eliminate. Right. Um, you had mentioned a particular, particular diet uh, in your article. Mentioned paleo Mediterranean diet right. supplemented um, with the good oils, with plenty of vitamin D and really sticking to a, a diet that not as restrictive as the paleo. It does contain some whole grains. It contains um, some more fruits than the basic paleo diet and allows you to have chocolate and wine. So and it's, it's something you can balance, look it up right. on the internet and you can find out what's You can find out more that. details about it. Yeah. Um it's kind of created by one of the the docs that I uh that I follow, but a Mediterranean diet with maybe a couple stipulations on it I would see. be good. The right. another option that I didn't write about, but is the DASH diet. It's dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Okay. You I just can. figured it was you're dashing around. You're, <laughs> I know. And you're grabbing well, an energy bar that's or, you're a piece of it. <laughs> or you're grabbing a, a fast food. <laughs> well, <laughs> and that's what um, most of Western medicine starts with, yeah. and it eliminates some of the sodium, but not all people have to eliminate so, so really? much of the sodium. Um, sodium plays a role in a lot of things, and you got to be careful not to get too low for a lot of people, but right. that, that needs to be checked up medically. Um, now, if you if you are someone that spends a lot of time outside, mm -hmm. if you you know that's your job, 
you obviously are going to sweat out that. Oh, absolutely, that. So you, yeah. So you, you need can't, more anyway. Right, you can't restrict it. You've got to keep your electrolytes your d- up. Your vitamin D may be way up, but, you know, you got to yeah, make sure exactly. your sodium, your sodium is, is okay exactly. at that point. And then, of course, you know, the obvious thing that helps in everything we do, exercise. Mm-hmm. You know, exercise helps with our health, you know, tremendously. How much do you recommend uh, as far as exercise? I mean, you know, there is overdoing it, but, you know, there is under under. You know, a half hour, th- uh, three to four times a week is usually enough for most people. Uh, cart mix of cardio, weightlifting, all that kind of stuff, or, or um, it depend on what your body. I'm can mostly handle. referring to cardio three to four times Are a you? week. If we're talking about hypertension and circulation, if we were talking about bone strength, then I'd be talking about more the uh, the weightlifting. Weight, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Uh, fatty acid supplements, is that like fish oil? Is that, that is fish is? oil. Okay. That's right. Those are the essential oils that we can't make in our body. So um, there's fish oil, there's flax seed oil, there's evening primrose, black currant seed oil, um, and olive oil. Those are all in a, uh, avocado and maybe even some of the nut oils. Those are good um, oils that we need to have a balanced intake of. And, yeah, and they help in many different ways. Don't they help they with, do. like, arthritis and things like they that, They do. Too? They're anti-inflammatory, yeah, yeah. especially if you eliminate the omega-6 and the omega-9. Um, they can feed inflammation, uh, but the others should So it's a little to fight uh, that. Not, not complicated, but, you know, you can't just, same thing, you just can't just pick up anything right. off the shelf. You and the, and the other thing that. about oils is um, they can easily break down, just like they do in our cabinet at home. So... Mm. If you're buying something that's been sitting on a shelf a long time or was sitting in a drum in some factory, it can be oxidized. Right. If you burp your fish oil and it's unpleasant, it's probably already oxidized and you need to go with, right, you need to go with more of a professional line. Hmm. Um, And some companies even put uh, vitamin E or some essential oils in it to act as antioxidants and and keep the oil fresher. Keep it, yeah. And then uh, L-arginine, um, right. what is that? Arginine is an amino acid, right? and um, we use it in the blood vessels. It plays a role in making nitrous oxide, which dilates blood vessels. Um, certain people can increase their arginine to increase their nitrous oxide and therefore dilate blood vessels. Right. Um, African Americans tend to make to make more arginase, which is the enzyme that breaks down the arginine and keeps it from being used to make nitric oxide. Mm-hmm. So they may benefit even more. The key when taking arginine is you've got to take um, what we call methyl donors, or basically uh, B12, B6, and folic acid to control any overproduction of another chemical called homocysteine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's something also that you can buy over the counter Mm -hmm. or buy, you know, from a a health food store or something like that. Um, Obviously, chiropractic adjustments, how do do those help? They've got a wonderful history with um, blood pressure. Uh, You start out thinking cervical and any pressure on the brain stem can change how the centers of the brain work. Maybe the everything from the heart rate um, to how the body responds if it's always on guard and contracted, that pressure is always going to be higher in the blood vessels. They have muscular walls Mm -hmm. um, to where you're adjusting through the thoracics, which is the upper back. And that's where your body's um, fight or flight system is kind of located, a a major center of activation for that. And so if you're out through the upper back, um, it can always keep you on guard, that fight or flight, sympathetic nervous system, you know, even lead to anxiety. And so it's one of the gotcha. the big releasers of that. So keeping everything the way it's supposed to be, right? Will help with balance, balance, like you said, balance. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then we're we're how much time do we have? We have five minutes. Okay. Mind body approaches uh, mm-hmm. as well. Is that like transcendental uh, meditation yeah, or biofeedback? Yeah. Or? Anything that is going to help you to turn off fight or flight and turn on the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's what yoga does. It makes you stop. It may, That's what meditation does for some people. Um, any kind of thing where you change your mindset and your body changes with it. I see. So just relaxation. I mean, some people will say, well, sleep does that for me, but it's not quite that. It's a little more active input than just sleep. Yeah, I found that when, especially when I'm in production of an issue, there's, you know, there's a race to the deadline. And mm-hmm. I, that's what I found is sometimes just taking a little nap at least breaks that, 
you know, okay. that, that anxiety <laughs> that goes with that. So I can see how people okay. would say that. It just kind of turns it off for a little while more than anything else. Right. And, and allows right. you to just Gives kinda, your body a break. Exactly. Exactly. So um, so if you're working with a doctor to help uh, reduce your um, blood pressure and all that, and you use some of these solutions that you've mentioned, how quickly do you usually see the results from that? It, I'm sure it varies from individual to individual. It does. It does. I recently had a patient, um, African-American male in his mid-40s, who was on two blood pressure meds. Um, before I got back his blood work, I instructed him to start on CoQ10. And he did, and he remarked, uh, he brought me in almost two weeks' worth of blood pressures, and he remarked that it had started to be very steady. Mm -hmm. It was very up and down when he would take it mm -hmm. before. And uh, both of his medications depleted CoQ10, and nobody had suggested that to him. Really? And so at least at this point, he was at the point at that two weeks before we even started our nutritional approach that he was getting a, a healthy... Um, steady reading day right. after day right. without changing anything except adding the CoQ10. Right. And as we worked with more nutrients, his, his instruction was to watch that. And so, I mean, it could be as simple as a few days. Right, right. Well, let's talk just briefly. We've only got a couple more minutes. Um, one of the things that you have in your office is a hyperbaric I oxygen do. chamber and uh, again, because we're at, at the hockey rink, I had mentioned this to you. I, I follow hockey. There was a hockey player that suffered a concussion at, a, right. at the professional level. And the announcers, when he came back, the announcers were saying he spent a lot of time in the hyperbaric oxygen mm -hmm. uh, therapy chamber. And that helped him get back on the ice much, much faster. Absolutely. Fill us in on, on what it does for you and how it can well, help. I have a mild chamber, um, slightly different from the hard-sided chambers in the hospitals, but basically it puts about six times more oxygen into the body, which mm -hmm. is very anti-inflammatory. Um, if we're talking about a head injury, we're probably talking about some swelling in the brain, and that swelling cuts off blood flow to certain mm -hmm. areas, mm -hmm. um, which causes them to starve. Sometimes cells die, sometimes they are damaged uh, and inflamed. And that oxygen, when it's dissolved in the cerebrospinal fluid and in the plasma itself, can start going in and feeding those cells. So right. the repair process um, can come in. Just on 60 Minutes last weekend, one of the pilots who's having a problem with one of the fighter jets um, and hypoxia, as many of them are having with that mm -hmm. jet, mm -hmm. was talking about having used a hyperbaric chamber when he got down to get rid of his symptoms of hypoxia, wow. which were very, uh, should I say cerebral or very mind-oriented and balance and so all So it that. helps with concussions. It helps mm -hmm. with bruising and, and other issues that you might have with, you know, like if you injure yourself, right. your leg or your ankle Absolutely. or something like that. It's great for post-surgical patients, surgical incisions as well as swelling. Um, it's great for people who have chronic pain. Um works well for people with neurologic disease. Right. And you can find out more about uh, the hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber and the types of things that it can treat at Dr. Anschutz's website, which is summitofhealth.com. You can give her a call at 816-554-4771. Visit her office at uh, 200 Northeast Chipman Road in Lee Summit. Um, and then you can also check out Dr anshoots.com as well. Thank you for joining us again. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks. <laughs> um, enjoy the rest of your day today and enjoy your Mother's Day tomorrow. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, which we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 off of Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Join Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, Life Priority, and Sportsaholic at the Incredible Ball Star Game Watch Party on July 10th at Incredible, located at 151st and Antioch. Watch the game with former MLB players. Enjoy a great buffet plus unlimited bowling, mini golf, and laser tag. We'll have Sportsaholic t-shirts, giveaways, and more. This event benefits the KC Baseball Historical Society. Tickets are just $75 and available at Incredible or by calling 913-851-1700. There's more info in the latest KC Sports Magazine. And it's always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? 
Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesdays, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic understands the pressures we all face and the demands they place on our bodies. Dr. McIntosh can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. Sign up now for the 13th annual Run the Good Race 5K to benefit the Sanctuary of Hope on Saturday, June 16th. Visit sanctuaryofhope.org for more details. Run the Good Race is presented by the Barber Financial Group. KC's new golf course is the Heartland Golf Club. Join now for $49.95 per month. And seniors play 18 with cart for just $25 with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness Magazine. For tee times, call 816-523-8601 or visit heartlandgolfclub.com. Single game tickets for the Kansas City Command are now on sale. Call for tickets at 855 KC Arena. Visit kccommand.com or email tickets at KC Command and put yourself right in the middle of the action with your hometown arena football team, the Kansas City Command. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split second decisions is essential for your success. Hey, sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, Please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. We are back here watching and listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. The show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish and today we are coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, where you can sign up your kids for Learn to Skate or Learn to Play Hockey classes on their website, KC Ice Center. Dot com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses that you see all over town that transport your kids can be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, uh, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Command Report. This month, we introduce you to the Command's new quarterback, Matt Gutierrez. He joined the team last month. Plus, we want to remind everyone that the Command season is in progress at the Sprint Center, and their next two home games are on Saturday, May 26th and Saturday, June 2nd. And in GKC, we feature a story on how females are more susceptible to concussions and how soccer headgear is helping to reduce those injuries. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center, where we are doing our show today, Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf.
Now you'll find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. Now if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are KC Sports Paper. Dot com and shekc.com. And now you can view our show, this show, as well as some of our past shows on YouTube. All you do is, is search for the channel Good Sports KC, and the list of shows will come up, and you'll be able to watch some of our shows. Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to KC Sports and Fitness, and they include Stanley Tire and Auto, located two blocks east of Metcalf, off of 151st Street, where you can get an oil change for $22.99, a wheel alignment for $69.99, and seniors can get a 10% discount on their purchase with the coupons that are in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Also, the KC Baseball Historical Society, they're putting on their fifth annual Kansas City Athletics reunion on Friday, June 8th. And for more details or tickets, visit KansasCityBaseballHistoricalSociety.com. Danny Jackson's Incredible, located at 151st in Antioch. Bowling, mini golf, and laser tag with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. You can buy a double play of any two of those activities and get a second double play for free. And check out Incredible if you're planning a party or a corporate event as well. You can visit Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. And the 13th annual Run the Good Race on Saturday, June 16th, where you can run a cross-country 5K or a 5K road race, or both. Uh, you can run and run the, good, run the Good Race benefits the Sanctuary of Hope. For more details, visit sanctuaryofhope.org. And St. Andrew's Golf Club at, uh, and also Overland Park Golf Club, they are two of the finest golf courses in the region. St. Andrew's is located at 135th and Neiman, and uh, the OP Golf Club is at 125th and Quivera. Visit golfop.com for details on these two great courses. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in She KC. They are Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Kansas City Chiropractic, Polofsky and Associates, Sport Court, and Tracy Estes Allstate Office. Now, we're going to take another quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine Show. We are coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center, two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, you can buy one double play and get one free. Are you planning a party? Incredible is a great place for wedding receptions, birthday, graduation, and holiday parties, and corporate events. Visit Incredible at 151st and Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's an unusual name, but it's a simple, safe, effective, and affordable sports injury treatment solution. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy has been used by players from the NFL, MLB, PGA, and more to speed recovery from injuries. Now, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is available at Summit of Health, 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit. Go online at summitofhealth.com or call Dr. Susan Anschutz at 816-554-4771 to find out how Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can help speed your recovery from injuries. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center has reopened and is now enrolling for fall classes. Located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, the Kansas City Ice Center is registering students for learn to skate and learn to play hockey classes. Come check out a public skating session at the new Kansas City Ice Center or contact them to schedule a party, room ball game, or group rental. For more information or to register for a class online, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Sign up now for the Tuesday Par 3 League at the Heart of America Golf Academy or sign up for the Junior Golf Camps this summer. For more information, call the Heart of America Golf Academy at 816-513-8940 or visit hoagolfacademy.com. Get top dollar for your gold at the Gold Rush Exchange. And with your coupon from KC Sports, get 30% off any jewelry purchase. Visit the Gold Rush Exchange at 518 103rd between State Line and Warnell. Call 816-941-RUSH or visit kcgoldrush.com for more details. And get top dollar for your gold at the Gold Rush Exchange.
get two large, two topping pizzas, ten wings, and a two liter Pepsi for just $21.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 112627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. That's two large, two topping pizzas, ten wings, and a two liter Pepsi for just $21.99 at Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria Southside. Call Mafia Mike's at 913 660 1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913 322 6666. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Join Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, Life Priority, and Sportsaholic at the Incredible Ball Star Game Watch Party on July 10th at Incredible, located at 151st and Antioch. Watch the game with former MLB players. Enjoy a great buffet plus unlimited bowling, mini golf, and laser tag. We'll have Sportsaholic t-shirts, giveaways, and more. This event benefits the KC Baseball Historical Society. Tickets are just $75 and available at Incredible or by calling 913-851-1700. There's more info in the latest KC Sports Magazine. And it's always free, so pick one up today. Welcome back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness. SheKC Magazines, I am Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from the Kansas City Ice Center located on uh, Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. You can come on out for a public skating session. You can learn to skate and learn to play hockey. You can schedule a broom ball game. Uh, to find out about all of those things uh, that you can do, visit their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the plaza, former Royals World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and Dr. Susan Anschutz, who just joined us from Summit of Health Chiropractic in Lee Summit. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more. And you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness. To read each of their articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports at over 700 locations, including the, the Burger Kings and the Sport Clips in the KC Metro. Now, in this month's She KC, we outline the benefits of massage, plus we tell you about the Revolve Community Bike Shop earn a bike program. Now, I also want to mention that on May 19th, we will be at former Royal Danny Jackson's Incredible at 151st and Antioch, and our taping will start at about 1230 that day. And on May 26th, we will be at Mafia Mike's at 87th and Lackman. Actually, I think we'll be at Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. And our taping will start at about 12.30 that day also. Now, on June 9th, we will be at a new location, Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located about a half a mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. And our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. And then in June, we'll be back here at the Kansas City Ice Center. I've got to meet with the guy that I'm going to talk to in just a second and find out what date that will be, but we'll post that. Uh, the KCI Ice Center is located, as I've said, uh, two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, and our taping will start also at about 12.30 that day. So come on out and join us. You might see yourself on TV. Now, I want to mention one more thing that we are doing at Incredible, and it happens on July 10th, and that's the date of the All-Star Game. KC Sports is going to host an All-Star Watch Party at Danny Jackson's Incredible that night, and you'll be able to come on out and eat a great uh, baseball barbecue buffet, watch the All-Star Game on many of the big screens that uh, will be all around the facility. You can bowl, you can play laser tag, you can play mini golf as much as you want. We'll have former major leaguers there, plus giveaway prizes and, and and things like that as well. Now, tickets for this special event are $75 with proceeds benefiting the Kansas City Baseball Historical Society. Uh, the KC Baseball Historical Society is a not-for-profit organization that celebrates baseball history and brings together fans and players and historians to share memories and information about all aspects of baseball. Now, you can uh, purchase your tickets right now uh, at Incredible by calling 913-851-1700 or stopping by Incredible at 150 first in Antioch. Now you can also register to win two tickets to the event by emailing your name and your address. 
your phone number, and of course, obviously, your email address to free stuff at kcsportspaper.com. So register today. We might see you at the All-Star Game watch party. Now, as I mentioned, we are here at uh, the Kansas City Ice Center, and we are joined by uh, the general manager, Dean Nelson. Um, welcome to the show. Yeah, hey, thanks for having me, Steve. Uh, oh, you bet. Um, so let's let's start off just a little bit. Your hockey background. You you come from Minnesota. What's your hockey background? Yeah, born and raised in Minnesota. Uh, grew up playing hockey there uh, in Rochester, Minnesota. So played up through uh, through high school is my playing career really, and then uh, been coaching in the youth organizations all the way from squirts to elite two. Uh, at a uh, always usually at the highest level of each program, right? And uh, for about the last ten, fifteen years, uh, I would say I took two or three years off in my late twenties uh, when I was starting up a business, and then got back into it. So uh, I, I don't want to uh, age myself right now, but <laughs> coached in Minnesota for about fifteen years, and then uh, when the opportunity down here came about to work with some people in this area and run the rink down here, I was asked to do that, and uh, now I'm coaching in the Stars organization as well as. Uh, pretty much a director of hockey here at the rink. So how long have you been in Kansas City? Uh, it will be a year, year coming up here in uh, July. So I moved down here in the heat of the summer last year, and then I had your uh, uh, great winter down here. I, yeah. I saw no snow. Uh, for the first time in my life was I a part of uh, a winter with no snow, and um, uh, it's been real good. Everyone's uh, treated me real nice, and uh, so I've enjoyed my time here. Have you guys seen, uh, and I know you had reopened because you put a lot, invested a lot into the rink, but have you seen a growth in hockey in the year that you've been here? Uh, you know, I've seen a growth in hockey and a growth in, I think, the this area. Uh, you know, when I first came down here, it seemed like that most of the people were coming and driving from a long ways. Right. And now I'm seeing that uh, people right here from the Shawnee area uh, are, are living closer, coming down the hill, uh, down here to Johnson right. Drive or wherever they come from, just off of 435, and they're, uh, they live a lot closer. So I'm thinking it's becoming more of the community is now coming down to the rink, whether it's public skating, whether it's hockey, right. whether it's um, you know some type of uh, event, birthday parties and stuff. They're coming from closer. When I first moved here, it seemed like everybody was coming from the Pepsi Arena area, right? And uh, not being familiar with uh, Pepsi Arena uh, that had closed, most people were traveling from that area, right? Yeah, which is kind of the uh, center of Overland Park yes. area. Yeah. Now the owners of the rink spent uh, over a million dollars to do a lot of different things to the rink and bring it up to uh, you know the the great condition that it's in right now. And actually, uh, there's more to come. There are more renovations to come. Now, the last time we were here, you allowed us to have a scoop on uh, something new that's changing at the rink. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, fill us in and update us on um, that news again. Sure, Steve. Uh, we did um, announce it here on your show yes. uh, when we were here about a month ago. And we're going to add an outdoor rink. It's going to be a um, fully-sized NHL-sized rink. Uh, we have to add um, a couple locker rooms within our facility here for that rink. It will also have a roof over it. Um, one of the sides will have a scoreboard, you know, so it will be uh, almost two sides closed off and then two sides open to Johnson Drive and to the south side will be open. Uh, will be a very great addition to us. The biggest thing we can offer is those months of November through March uh, that it will be open uh, for ice skating and for hockey and, and for, you know, broom ball, and, and we might even get into some curling. And there's some things sure. that we're really, really looking at doing um, it will be great because I know the Stars organization have already announced that they will not raise any of the kids' prices to play hockey, but will give them uh, additional ice time. And that's right. really what everybody wants, uh, especially being a hockey player from Minnesota. The biggest difference I found when I came down here, Steve, was the amount of ice time that they have per week per team. Some teams were only on the ice one or two times per week. Right. Where in Minnesota I'm from, we're on four times a week for practices, a lot of our teams. Right. As well as we're traveling for, you know, two to three games a weekend. Right. So you might be on the ice six, seven times, maybe every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's during the hockey season. And then, uh, of course, you have outdoor rinks and things like that, which I think the second rink is really, really going to add to the not only the development of hockey, but as well as the overall um, skating in Shawnee. You know, right. down here, right. I mean, the, the public skates and things that we can have outside uh, during the week or at night, uh, I think is just going to be tremendous for the community. Absolutely. So what, um, will it have equipment underground, the, the chillers and things like that, that will keep the ice uh, strong during that time period? It will have that? Yes, yeah, it'll, okay. be, it'll be fully. I mean, I think that the total um, 
uh, project is you're looking, you know, at a high dollar amount yeah. once again to do the whole project yeah. out there. Uh, it will be uh, the, um, I think it will be concrete with pipes right in the concrete. Right. And, and so it will be just like a regular rink, uh, like you probably see uh, Crown Center or something right. around here, right. you know, that's, that's ran in those winter months that isn't too hot. Uh, so hopefully our winter will be a little bit um, mild, but not <laughs> as mild as this year, or else we might have a little bit of trouble keeping it up all winter. <laughs> oh, and, and it's, so it's, it's going to launch, the, the scheduled launch is November. Is November. We're hoping uh, somewhere mid-November, depending on construction, deb- depending on how things go, and, and the weather as well. But, you know, I hope to have a, a Thanksgiving um, Unveiling. Scheme, unveiling yeah. by Thanksgiving, yeah. you know, and we're looking at having, you know, tournaments and men's yeah. league out there and, and kids' games out there. And, and uh, I was down in Granite City, and I might have mentioned this, and played at an outdoor rink, and it's tremendous. It, yeah. it, it is so much fun. I, yeah, I, I have to believe it is. I mean, there's that big hoopla about the outdoor uh, hockey game that the NHL plays right. and, you know, how much those players love it. Yeah, to be able to bring something like that to the kids here who can't can't really go out and skate on a lake. Right. Not that you want to anymore, but I grew up and you could skate on the lake. We yep. didn't know better. But, yeah, I mean, that, that has to be absolutely cool to, to be able to do that. So it'll be covered. It'll be lighted. It'll be open when you're open. Yep. Um, in the off season, you're actually going to still continue to do hockey on it. Yeah, in the off season, when it gets into the spring, summer, and fall, you know, when it's too warm outside, we're hoping to do roller hockey on it. We're hoping to do training on it. Uh, yeah. You know, we have camps and clinics that we're set up right now. I just released two more clinics, uh, a Monday and Tuesday night clinic throughout the summer that your kid can come for hockey every Monday or every Tuesday for different skills. Mm-hmm. So in the summertime, we're hoping to, hey, maybe come on the ice one hour, maybe outside for a half hour. Right. You know, during the summer when we do camps and clinics and, and do shooting and do training. And, and we really, really want to add that facility uh, to maybe roller hockey or you know, right. or, or more, more training when uh, it's warm outside. Right. So when is the official, or has it already begun, the official groundbreaking? Well, the groundbreaking hasn't begun as far as, you know, the jackhammers and the, yeah. and the actual, you know, <laughs> yeah. the bulldozer coming in. But uh, they uh, are still going through the um, architect uh, renditions, and gotcha. they're still going through some of the plans. There's... Um, uh, markings out there from my uh, utility companies and and other um i saw city. that little flags that are out yeah, there. yeah. little flags yeah. so they they're, they're starting the process it's going through the channels to make sure that everything gets rolling here and it's about a four-month process for construction so i would say sometime in the middle of june maybe you'll see uh ground being moved so next time we're out here we can snap a picture of it and put it up on the screen yeah you should be able to and actually i, I know on the kc stars uh the uh youth program that plays mm-hmm. out of the rink here i know mm-hmm. if you go to their front page there's a rendition on there, Is there? that i don't have on my website yet okay. and i was thinking about that today as, as i really need to get that on our website the the kc ice uh, uh, Ice Center website, but they do have it on the KC Stars website. The we'll have to get that it. and put it up on the screen. Here. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Actually, yeah. it's pretty neat. So uh, what's the reaction been so far when, as you've been telling people about it? I mean, obviously the Stars uh, organization has to be th- absolutely thrilled about it. Yeah, they, they really are. We've had a, a great uh, growing um, interest from either kids that maybe – don't play in the Stars organization that want to now, yeah. you know, that are saying, hey, more ice time. That's what we need. Yeah. We want more yeah. ice time. Also, we're getting great um, feedback from just the general public saying, you know, it is so beautiful around here on some winter days, not all maybe, but, mm-hmm. you know, a lot, right. that we would like to have that public skate outside. Right. You know, uh, we've had just, I would say nothing but 99.9% positive feedback because it really, really is something for the community. I mean, not only is it for the, the hockey kids, but it is for all aspects of skating, and that's really what the owners here are trying to do is, is give back to the community and say, let's keep ice alive or let's keep right. ice growing here in, right. in, in the Shawnee or Johnson County area. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, and, and along with all of that, while all that construction is happening this summer, you guys have a number of hockey camps that you're bringing in that you're, start, that you're going to be doing this summer as well for those hockey players with skill. And then fill us in on that, and then, and then we'll talk about just your Learn to Play Hockey program. Sure, well. we have a, a few camps this summer. Uh, the, the day camps are towards the end of the summer, the last week in July and the first week in August. We have two innovative camps that, uh, that we're uh, doing this year. The first one is a skills uh, camp for everybody. It's uh, uh, forwards, defense, goalies. All of them right. will be on the ice at the same time. And the second one we're doing the, the first week in August. I think it's the 6th through the 10th is our battle camp. But we're really excited about bringing a, a, a new style camp to town. I have some guys from Minnesota coming down to help me. Um, a good friend of mine, Sean Podine, who is with the uh, Colorado Avalanche and uh, with the Philadelphia Flyers, and he played with the St. Louis Blues where he ended his career. 
uh, is coming down to help me for a few days that week. Um, and he uh, knows what I'm trying to do down here in Kansas City and try to, to build the hockey a little bit. So he's going to come down and help. Uh, Vince Pedri, uh, Larry's uh, son, will help us. Larry will be here to help us as well. Sure. Uh, Vince is a USHL uh, nationally ranked player that's going to be here to help us. Uh, Matt Alexander, my assistant GM, has moved down from uh, same hometown, Rochester, Minnesota. He'll be on the ice to help us, and he is a, uh, a coach and captain of the Mankato State Club team last year. Mm-hmm. He'll be there to help us. So we really have a great surrounding of people here to teach hockey, to get kids excited about it, and that battle camp is going to be great. It's called uh, Minnesota Invades KCIC <laughs> with a battle camp. So it's, it's one-on-one battles. It's battles. Uh, that's what hockey is. And, and the coaching, the fact that these guys have, those, uh, have played at that high level is a huge plus because they know the game so much better than we average adults that just kind of picked it up as adults and are helping. You know, when I did it, I helped to coach my kids' teams. Uh, they know the game so much better at, at a much finer detail, and they can bring that to the kids that are and here. I'm finding down here that there is a lot of knowledge, you know, that, uh, you know, of course we, we're secondhand up in Minnesota, but down here yeah. there's the stars have really aligned themselves with a great coaching staff. I mean, mm-hmm. I went through some of the bios and I went through some of the looking at some of the coaching staff uh, at the house level as well at the travel level. And it seems like the stars really, really have uh, went out and out of their way to get quality, good coaches for these kids right now. And I'll be having some of them help me in some of my camps. I'm doing a Monday and a Tuesday night camp uh, throughout the summer. Uh, I know my Tuesday night camp is called the five skills of hockey. So it's passing, shooting, battles, uh, skating, stick handling. So it's, uh, it's mm-hmm. like a five skills, all of them. Mm-hmm. And we'll have five rotating stations on the ice. And so you'll go to each station and do a different task. And what I'll do is I'll have some of the Stars coaches help me in that camp as well. So, um, you know, I'm just uh, just – one guy trying to uh, make a little bit of a difference here. Well, yeah, and the beauty of those multiple station things is the kids keep moving. The kids don't really stop. There's not not much standing in line and things like that. So they're utilizing their ice yeah. time, mm-hmm. and that's a huge plus. Yeah, I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it keeps them moving, keeps them active, keeps them handling the puck and things like that. That's yep. all great. So uh, what about the Learn to Play Hockey uh, programs? What do you have coming up? Yeah, we just did Learn to Play Hockey again this morning. We're in our fourth week of this session. Fifty kids on the ice this morning. It's just been a tremendous output pouring of uh, kids coming out, new kids, three years old, up to 10 or 11. Wow. Uh, just a great time, 8 o'clock on Saturday mornings. We'll have four more weeks of this session, which ends at about the middle of June. And then in July, we'll start up another morning session like we're doing. But we'll also add a Thursday night learn to play hockey uh, clinic every Thursday night. These kids that are currently in the, se- in the session or new kids can come another day a week for a Thursday night. It's kind of like an advanced skills for right. those younger kids right. to get them ready to play this fall because out of those 50 kids, I would say 40 of them will be ready to play right. on the team. And, mm-hmm. and that's that's really what this program was made for is yeah. to get kids involved and get them into hockey. The Learn to Skate program that we have is great. I mean, I think there's over 200 kids in the Learn to Skate program. Wow. But the Learn to Play Hockey program at 50 Strong right now uh, is really what I focus on to build the hockey program or to try to help sure. get kids into hockey. Uh, and the Learn to Skate program, we're focusing more on uh, more on recreation and more on fun. Right, right. And you've got some great help with that as well. You, Jeff Christian, yep. uh, former uh, Missouri Maverick, uh, played in the NHL, uh, is helping to coach that as yeah, well. Yeah, Jeff was here this morning. Jeff's great. Uh, you know, he really wants to give back to the community as well. And uh, he is really... Um, trying to help us with the kids as well. Jeff uh, has just opened up, I think, his own car lot. So he's getting into business by himself now. Oh, I really? Think. And oh, t- wow. Yeah, I think he uh, has either purchased or opened a car lot, uh, car sales. Wow. And uh, so we spoke a little bit about that this morning and, and to see how long Company he can Company vehicles, huh? That's right. He <laughs> show up in a, in a different car every week, you know, and I wondered what was going on. Well, he, now he owns a car lot, so I guess he wow. just takes whichever one. But uh, I tell you, Jeff is just a great, great help to us here, and uh, it was just great to have him as part of our staff. Well, one of the things that you also have during the summer is a stick and puck time. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what day it was scheduled. I think it's a, it's a weekday, isn't it? We do it? Mondays at 4 to 5. Also, like a, I think it's next Sunday. I have one like at noon. You just you really have to check our website, you know, the kciicecenter.com, mm-hmm. because what happens is we we put things on there so frequently that all of a sudden – we, our schedule changes a lot, right. and all of a sudden we'll put on stick and puck or we'll put on freestyle or we'll add public skate or something and really just pay attention to our website. The stick and puck is great. The kids just get out there, and 20 kids could be on the ice at once. They all got their own agenda, but then they can kind of come together for a pickup game too. And, so. Well, the beauty of that too is you can just work on those things that you don't have uh, or you, you 
started to pick up in practice, right. or even an adult can come out and work yeah. on their work on their game. Because yeah. we all, ne- you know, when I played, I uh, you know I enjoyed that because I could just sit there and refine and and experiment and try and figure it out. But, yeah. but that's a great way between the d- the different sessions that you have to stay active and to stay you know stay in shape and all that stuff. And, that's and funny you say children. adults because uh, we're going to do an adult instructional league now. Are you? So it's going to be a Wednesday night, I believe, and it's going to start uh, this summer, and it's going to be uh, Wednesday nights at like 9.30 or something, 9.45, and it's going to actually be a uh, learn to play hockey for adults. You would be surprised of the number of people that come and approach me and our staff here and say, what do you have for adults? Oh, yeah. You know, I want to learn how to play hockey. I want to help my boy or I want to help my girl. Right. And I want to get involved. And, and, you know, I coach basketball or I coach football. But, man, I am so scared to get on the ice. Right. And make a fool of myself. Right. I want to learn how to skate or learn the basics of hockey. So we're going to start an adult instructional league. That will be an hour and a half on, I believe, Wednesday nights is what we're picking right now. And the first half hour or 40 minutes will be instruction. So it will be all your skills, your stick handling, your skating, your shooting, and then 45 minutes of an actual game. Of a, of scrimmage, yeah. So I, we think it's a great idea to, to start an instructional league for adults. I think it's fantastic as well. Well, that actually will do it for our time. But uh, your um, website is kciicecenter.com. Uh, you can call 913-441-3033 to reach Dean and get more information on that. Um, thank you very much for hosting thanks, us Steve. today. We appreciate it. That'll do it for our show. Uh, thanks again. Uh, doing it out at the Kansas City Ice Center. I want to thank them. I uh, also want to thank uh, Dr. Susan Anschutz for joining us today. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC show. Uh, and check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports sports kc channel so until next week be sure to read all about sports health and exercise in kc sports and fitness and she kc magazines you'll find them all over kansas city including the kci center so pick them up today These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic understands the pressures we all face and the demands they place on our bodies. Dr. McIntosh can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. For a list of locations, visit firstcharterbus.com. That's firstcharterbus.com. And choose yellow and choose first. There's a 27-hole golf course and a 10,000-square-foot athletic club in the heart of Overland Park. It's Brookridge Golf and Fitness. Come check out Brookridge Golf and Fitness at 103rd and Antioch today. Golf, fitness, group exercise, personal training, swimming, junior golf, and casual dining all in one place. Brookridge Golf and Fitness. For more information, call 913-648-1600 or visit brookridgegf.com. And mention this ad on Good Sports and get your first month free when you become a member. Sign up now for fun at Volleyball Beach. It's the perfect way to stay in shape and enjoy the outdoors. For over 22 years, Volleyball Beach has been KC's number one sand volleyball spot. With 13 courts, Volleyball Beach has leagues every Sunday through Friday evening. And sign up now for summer and fall leagues. For more information, visit Volleyball Beach at 13105 Home. Call 816-942-2820 or visit VolleyballBeach.com. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. Here are two great specials you can take advantage of with your coupon at Kansas City Sports. Get a half-price green fee or save 75% on your new member initiation at Great Life Golf at River Oaks. Call 816-966-8111 for details. 
Find out how you can join thousands who are losing weight the easy way. Take the Body by Vi 90-Day Challenge and join real people who are getting real results. For more information, visit KCMOHealth.com and put yourself on track to a healthier you in just 90 days. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's an unusual name, but it's a simple, safe, effective, and affordable sports injury treatment solution. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy has been used by players from the NFL, MLB, PGA, and more to speed recovery from injuries. Now, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is available at Summit of Health, 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit. Go online at summitofhealth.com or call Dr. Susan Anschutz at 816-554-4771 to find out how Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can help speed your recovery from injuries. At Stanley Tire and Auto, you can get an oil change for $22.99, a wheel alignment for $69.99, and seniors can get a 10% discount on their purchase with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Visit Stanley Tire and Auto located two blocks east of Metcalf off 151st Street or call 913-239-8473.